battle report from the previous chapter. After resupplying in Mahal al Kubriya, General Kitchener marches towards Cairo knowing that the city has been overrun by Mahdi rebels. In Cairo, Arab dervishes prepare for a tough siege. The rebel leader takes defensive positions inside the city. From the east, more rebels advance increasing the discontent over the region. Kitchener besieges Cairo with his men. No quarter will be given to the rebels inside the city. Meanwhile in Khartoum, Stuart advances north through the bank of the Nile with the order to capture Fayum. A Mahdi army is known to be scouting on the west bank of the Nile. After some days, Kitchener enters the city of Cairo. His men loot and pillage everything inside. A frenzy of violence ensues while everything is engulfed in chaos. North, the Turks commence an operation to snatch Jerusalem from the British allies. The Bedouins prepare for the worst. General Kitchener captures Cairo. The Turks attack Jerusalem confident of victory. John Stuart crosses the Nile and encircles Fayum, putting the rebels inside under siege. With British control established in the Nile, things appear to become more than favourable on the British side. Stuart continues his attack waiting for a surrender. In Jerusalem, the Bedouin allies mount a fierce attack against the Turkish troops. Reports from scouts inform that the defenders in Zagazug have been receiving reinforcements from Arish. John Stewart finally captures Fayum with minimal losers. Turks are defeated by the Bedouins, creating hesitation on the remaining soldiers. The Bedouins prepare another attack against the hesitant Turkish troops. Stuart returns to Beni Suef and waits orders from Khartoum. General Kitchener and Wolseley coordinate an attack on the Zagazing defences and both march to engage the enemy. John Stuart is relocated to Cairo to maintain order whilst the main operation is being effectuated in Zagazig. The small war band of dervishes came out from their hiding spot and Gordon is informed of the situation. In the north Bedouin warriors defeat another attempt to capture Jerusalem from the Turks. The Turks are defeated, and Jerusalem is still safe from enemy occupation. Sir John Stuart reaches Cairo to re-establish order. The Zagazig offensive commences. With the approach of Sir Wolseley, the defence of Zagazag is futile. British control over the Nile is established. Hello and welcome back. Victor's here. We're going to continue here with this battle. We are pushing from Khartoum to the north we have a lot of um we have two full stack armies on the west nile delta and we're going to push now into the territories of the sinai and we are going to defeat this maddest faction here so we're going to fight right now with charles gordon we have a couple of camels here, a couple of uh, Duke of Cambridge's own Lancer cavalry, and we have our 42 foot infantry, line infantry, and some Sudanese line infantry. Our enemy here is Nurdin al, -Fil al Filistini. Nurdin al Filistini. This guy is commanding three Islamic dervish, which are mob. Uh, Jahida warriors, which are mob as well, and a couple of 
Bagger of Darfur Light Cavalry and Mahdi's Mahdist Anzar. So let's get away. So let's grab the Lancers here. Gonna place them on the flanks with the camels here. The commander here, and we're going to take these infantry at the back. And let's move them here. Let's move the cavalry through here. And the camels in this flank. You can see that there's a storm right now here. Go ahead and see the march here of the of the 54th Regiment of Foot. We we can hear the gunshot already. They're charging here. Let's do this. We're going to attack them here. We're going to ignore this, and we're going to continue the march. Okay, there we are, the camels are here. Attack here. So let's start shooting here. You can see how the dragoons are shooting from the camels. Let's see here the, the shooting from the Lancers. Sketch these guys here. Okay, let's advance here.
So we're going to march more Gordon here. So are they running away? They are withdrawing. So yeah, we, we won. These guys are definitely withdrawing. It's going to encircle these guys here. So here we advance. Charge them here. Let's charge the lancers here. a good battle victory is ours so we lost 97 most of them were the guys that charged against um, the rebels now we can see a lot of these guys these represent um, what is uh, rebels which is rebellions here so i think we're good we're good here we can simply recruit a couple of guys here and then everything is going to be all right so we can send these guys here i'm going to finish them here so to do that i'm going to advance here now there's this is not a healthy place to rest yeah of course this represents the attrition for desertic areas so as you can see we are suffering attrition for for the heat because we're in in an area that there's a lot of uh sandstorms and stuff like that so these are the rebels as you can see these guys here are the actual the actual guys that were commanded by nurdin al filistini so we're going to advance to the north. Yes, my lord. I'm not willing to attack these guys because I don't want this to crush. I'm pretty sure that if I attack them here, this thing is going to crush. Okay, so this is a college. College gives minus one happiness, so I'm going to destroy this. And we're going to advance... Yeah. What is this? Supply depot? Okay, we're going to advance into Cairo. Definitely, this is going to appease the people here. So let's see if we can recruit something else here. Now, good thing here is that you... You... We don't have a limit for this type of unit we can recruit uh, whatever amount of, of these that we want okay so now we can resupply here a little bit perhaps here i can yeah definitely recruit a couple more of this or at least recruit a couple more of This I cannot recruit. Okay, so let's await another three turns for this. And I think we're good. Let me see if I can do another navy here. No recruitment. Okay, I'm going to do this one remember that we are in bankruptcy we are losing a lot of money
they are demanding surrender because they don't have any any, any other place to go Bedouins are doing a very good job there. Another rebellion here. Let me see here. Desert attrition. Having wandered deep into the desert, this army has succumbed to the extreme heat. This is the army that was succumbed to the extreme heat. In addition to the many men who have fallen victim to the scorching sand and lack of water, others have broken ranks and deserted in despair. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to return to the to the road here. Definitely this is not going to, to help. Oh yeah, it helps. So because we have Gordon here, so now we are getting more troops. Okay, so now, let's just attack here, two more turns I think, so we're going to wait two more turns here. So let's send these guys here to Arish in North Sinai. On your Majesty's service. And this guy here. I'm gonna try to attack other places. Let's see if I can move this guy from here. No, it seems that we can't. What about moving this guy here? It's the same situation. Let's see here. Just do we can do with this. So yeah, what I'm going to do is to send one of these guys here. This is going to appease this. This other guy is going to be sent here. So as you can see, the Mieta and the Kalia are neutral in terms of public order. So let me send, let me send these troops here to deal with this situation. I'm going to send, I'm going to send these guys here. So we can deal with this. Gathering supplies. Yes, sir. And these guys, I'm going to send them south. So let's see what is happening here. This thing here, college and members club. I think the members club is going to be better. Okay, so let's uh, end the turn here. What's what's this? Uh, a couple of forms a couple of regiments here. 
It's a new turn, another bankruptcy. Here we are. Proud and victorious. We lost. Oh, we lost. I think we lost the Maxims. That's okay. Okay, here we're going to do... Here we're going to fight this. So we have just these two units that are going to wait for the enemy. But we have reinforcements here. Let's see if we can move these guys here and start shooting at them. Yes, sir. Up, damn it. Color Sergeant Bond. So here we have Mr. Gordon coming in into the into the phrase. So apparently these Dervish Islams, Islamic Dervish are trying to regain control of this area. So I'm going to send the the actual commander with the lancers to attack the leader here. Armed peasantry. We're going to see here. Following orders. Are you questioning my right to command? Color Sergeant Bond. A little bit of faction. Okay, let's begin here. Here we have the camels. Just in the camels here. Okay, this guy is has been defeated. He's running away. in the defenders here. Let's move the lancers away. Just charge them here. Have a little bit of fun with the Commander Gordon here. So we had a crashed desktop. These these guys are going to attack us, and we can decline. And by doing this, we are going to retreat. But I don't think the problem is in this area. So I'm going to auto resolve this. We are going to lost the Maxims. That's okay. And this is the thing that we we would like to auto resolve. Okay, we actually had a victory, so it's better. And now there's no there's no crush. Okay, so we get into position there. Let's 
So the Turks are again trying to get here into into Jerusalem. Okay, interesting. Another rebellion here. Okay, so now I think we are gaining again. Oh no, we we're not gaining any money. Okay, we have taken these. This is a drill school. We can recruit here a lot of units, but I'm going to throw this away. Perhaps this is giving me money. I'm not sure. And what I'm going to do now is, for example, here we're, we're doing good. I'm going to push these guys to the north. Let me see if this is going to help in any way, I don't think. Let's move a couple of these guys down here. Let's move this guy into the north here. So perhaps this is going to help into the public order over here. In the meantime, we're going to wait here. I think we lost the Maxims, as I mentioned before. We don't have Maxims, but here... Yeah, this was the one that had the Maxims, so we lost them. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's send this guy to the south here. This guy, we're going to capture this. This is a victory for us. We're going to peacefully occupy. We're going to wait for the lower classes to be a little bit less angry. We are winning here 585. So let's leave it like this. Let's leave it be. For the sake of the money here. Well, actually, I'm going to exempt from taxes because either way we're going to lose. So we have a deficit already. So we have taken hell one here. Then with this guy, we're going to push into this area. So I'm going to move these guys into here. Not to push already into the enemy. And we're going to see what we can do here with sabotage. We're going to sabotage the army here. And finally, we're going to deal with this situation. Okay, that's good. So now let's send this guy here. So we know that our enemy here just had a mob here with maddest warriors. And we're going to wait with these guys here. We're still losing money because we have a lot of troops. So we need to push into here and take them as quickly as we can. So let's see what we can do. This place has a lot of money. So we can go directly to them and defeat them. So to do that, we're going to use this uh, general, Garnet Wolseley. I'm going to send him straight in here. In the meantime, we're going to regain forces here. And with this guy, we're going to take here now. I'm going to send this as a support for this unit. So let's see what happens. More rebellions. So let's send this guy here. Your orders, your Majesty. Okay. Now we're going to try to move the main troops with the camels out of here. If that helps, I don't think so. So let's so let's stay here. We're going to stay here with these guys.
here we have recruited this. So I'm going to send them here. I'm pretty sure this is going to help with the public order here. For the next turn. Still getting bad with the money here. Okay, these guys are going to stay here because they need to appease the people here. And yeah, that's pretty much up to this moment. So let's see if we can march straight in here. Take that into the in, in the next turn, which is going to be very important. I'm going to send this guy straight into the Turkish territory. So let's end this turn. Okay, let's take this. This is for the sake of, of money. Another crash to desktop when we defeated the actual menace. Okay, so eventually we're having a lot of crashes here. I don't want to to continue the the campaign like this because I'm afraid that everything is going to crash every single turn. So what I'm going to do now, first of all, let's try to talk with these guys and offer them a request for peace. Okay, interestingly enough, we have managed to make peace with the with the Maddest here. This is very interesting because right now, by doing peace with these guys, we can clearly continue the war with the Turks. Now, let me see if I can do peace with the Turks. And request a trade agreement. If they accept so they do not accept Let, let's see what is the um, the actual victory condition here we need north sinai so this is north sinai so this is one of the places that we need okay so because of this let me end the turn and let's see what happens Okay, so now apparently we can reach there, so we're going to declare war again to them, and we're going to declare war. Great, so we can reach them here. Of them here. Everything is getting better here. Okay, so now let's um let's attack them. Let's see what happens. So for some reason there's there was not a problem with the peace treaty. So as you can see, I'm just trying to figure out what is happening here. So I'm going to do a quick save here, just before the attack. Let me go ahead and do this. Send them here.
Okay, this is two turns. Let's see what happens for the next two turns. Ooh, now this is something that unexpected. This is in Cyprus. And another crash. At first I thought that the solution was a bug with the capture of this area called Arish. But then I noticed that when these guys captured the Nicosia, cap uh, the Cyprus capital Nicosia, there was a crash as well. So because of that, I assumed that there was a crash on the actual turn. So for the moment, what I did was basically telling the Mahdists to become... Um, basically to make peace with them. So we are at peace. And now what I can try to do is to move through their territory. So at the end, in exchange for peace, what I did was asking them indefinite uh, permission to move my armies into their territories. And now I can deal with the with the Turks without the intervention of the Mahdists. So we're going to do that. Let's remember here that late December 1899 is the last year in which we can do this do this war and obviously North Sinai which is the actual region here is a a must for us to to have the um, the victory conditions fulfilled so at this point we need to take this area Galilee and Damascus and Damascus so basically uh, nowadays northern Israel and Damascus uh, nowadays Syria so we have a lot of uh, tools to do that and as you can see let me try to see ah there's an area here called Elat that is very well garrisoned by the by the Turks I can see here an army here and another half army here which I could say that both of them make a full stack to deal with those guys we have obviously all these um, Sudanese line infantry here in, in Suez Helwan. So they are not going to be able to, to cross the Sinai and attack us. Interesting thing that I see here is that we see several mountains here in, in the Negev region. The risk that we have to be attacked by by the Turks through the Sinai is very low. So I'm going to take that out into the from the equation. Orders, and what I'm going to do is to wait a little bit here for these troops to get a little bit of um, replenishment. So definitely we need to find a an army that is going to liberate Nicosia when, when Nicosia falls from these Turkish rebels that appeared here. So we have an army here. It consists of one general and a Sudanese line infantry. This guy is a strong defender and a confident general, Sidney Smith. We can actually take both of them, both regiments out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send these guys out here. They're going to hit on, on the hills in this area, in northern Cyprus. Because obviously we, we have lost this. So let me see if I can get... I won't get anything from this if I destroy that. So that's okay for the time being. 
and let's see what we're going to do with the army. So we have here these York and Lancaster regiment. Now you can see that these guys are pretty much the same as as the normal line infantry with the red Cody. Where are them? I think we have some of them here. They're pretty much the same. Same as this. The only difference, I believe, is in morale. So yeah, the um, the other guys have better better morale. That's that's it. That's pretty much it. And the other thing, interesting thing, is that these guys have the the beige or the khaki uniform, which is more more uh, of a modern. Uh, army uniform so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these guys out from khartoum and i'm going to send them here From here, we're going to take Mr. Charles Gordon to lead the troops and liberate uh, Nicosia. So let's take this guy out. We're going to go through Fayum here. Awaiting further orders. And let me see if we can take the camels. More orders? Yeah, we can't. So that's good. We're going to leave Benny Suev here with three regiments of Sudanese line infantry. Yes, sir. Ready for order. Great. So Go Mr. Ahead. Charles Gordon is going to be in charge of liberating Cyprus. The other troops that I'm going to take from here are going to be these guys. And perhaps one Sudanese... One Sudanese line infantry is going to be okay, I believe. I'm going to move through... Through here, Cairo to the Manhur. At this point, I don't even care what what is happening here in, with the public order because we already know that every time these guys rebel, we're going to get this kind of um, bugged rebellion, and we don't have money to to fix these um, buildings. Actually, this building is not good for us because it gives one, minus one happiness. So, there is... that's all, I think. Let's see if we can find any other unit, interesting unit, that we can send to the liberation of Nicosia. I think we are okay. And here we have Mr. Stewart. He's going to stay here. Let me see if I can take some of these troops and send some to Cairo. Let me see how many troops I can take out from from here. Perhaps I can take one more. Could be one more. There we go. So everything looks fine here in Sagazig, and this guy is going to be sent directly to to the capital to maintain order here in the capital. Actually, with this guy here. So 
Yeah. Sorry, sir. So let's take Mr. Mr. Stuart the Brave and send him here. Okay. Ready for order. So I think we are okay. So let me see. That's more than enough. So let's end the turn here. Okay, we lost uh, we lost Cyprus, but we still have these guys alive here. So they are going to be here. They're going to try to survive as we send the reinforcements. So let's move these guys here. You can move them like this. Okay, and now I'm going to march them. Into... into Cairo. March! In position! So let's uh, bring Mr. Steward here. Troops, forward. Ten, forward. Now it looks a little bit better. These guys are going to Your wait for the for Ready the main uh, main general here. That is going to Mr. Mr. General Gordon. Finally, we're going to check yes. these guys. They have moderate replenishment rate. So that's okay. We're going to send our spy here, Ir Irwin Dutley, to the Negev. And then we end the turn because we need to disrupt the movement of this, uh, of this half stack. So now the the Turks do, does not uh, appear to be aware that I have two full stacks at the back of the mad of the Madists. Apparently, they seem to be a little bit confident that they are very safe and secure. Okay. Your Lordship. So let me move this guy through the... through the Dead Sea. Stealth is my cloak.
hiding away. Okay, so let me see. Let me see if I get some replenishment if I move these guys here. So we get no replenishment through there. That's fair. So let's uh, send these guys here. Anything more? Men! Forward! In position! Now we march directly to Abu Kir. Immediately! It's in the turn. So now I think this is uh, more than enough for us. So I'm going to start moving these guys. I'm going to move my star, Herbert Kitch Kitchener. I'm going to move him here. And Wolseley as well in here. So we're going to begin the operations in which we're going to capture this thing here. I'm going to send this guys here. Underway. Military expert. Okay, so let's embark here. Yes. We can't do that, sir. Okay, let me see. I think for the for the attack here in Nicosia. Your Majesty. I would be landing in here. I think it's going to be yes. better. So I'm going to send this race here. These guys are going to wait for the reinforcements in this area. So now that we are here, we're going to load our army here. And we're going to go straight to the north. So that's the Liberation Army that will liberate Cyprus. And now we're going to approach here Ready and awaiting order. into the border. Actually, I think it's going to be a bad idea to move through here because there is going to be a lot of attrition, I'm pretty sure. 
and we are not in shape to do that as you can see because of the scarce supplies that we have let's uh, advance in here always into the into the roads there's a supply warehouse here that i think is going to be okay for us to to take for meaning that it's not going to be a good idea to damage these because we don't have money and as you can see we are not getting any 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 soon so i think it's going to be a much better idea to take this settlement and use this use this supply warehouse in our advantage we have 14 percent replenishment rate in this region so that is going to be a pretty good idea so we're going to move this guy here we're going to actually push this guy further we're going to begin the innovation here. So we begin the invasion of of the Negev area. Any further orders? Yes. So now there's there's a situation which is very delicate. We have these two armies. Yes, of course we have two armies, but they are not at full strength. So we will use these two armies to cross the Negev. Obviously, we're going to take this area. We're going to cross the Negev, and we're going to go down here. I think we're going to do this with two armies and the, the way we're going to do this is that first we're going to take this we're going to Ready and awaiting order. give the order to attack this area with Ready General Kitchener your orders, your Majesty. after we replenish because we're going to use this in our advantage we're going to move into the Bedouin territory, we're going to move south and we're going to take this. And here we're going to we're going to get this uh, trading port and we're going to get 613 uh, gold that gives us the tax of this area. But even even by taking this and this, I believe, is not going to be enough to to get a good an uh, income so either way we're going to still lose uh, money but we're going to recapture obviously this area and as you can see this area is going to give us back a lot of income we already see that this place has a lot of wealth so this is a must we have to recapture that and then we're going to see what we're going to do to take basically this acre we're going to take acre and then we're going to move through here and go straight to damascus so that's the plan and i think we're doing very good so don't forget to give a like, subscribe to the channel. This was Victus, see you in the next one.